All right, you guys, uh, Mr. Bullock here in this geometry lessons on uh, postulates and diagrams. Let's go ahead and begin with the board problem here. All right, so state which postulate justifies uh, each statement. Okay, so if D is in the interior of angle ABC, so say I had this angle ABC right here. There's angle ABC. Okay, let's just say that this little point right there is A, that little point right there is B, and that little point right there is C, and D is somewhere floating up in there. What this postulate is saying is, is that uh, the two small angles, this angle right here plus this angle equals the entire angle. That's called the angle addition postulate, you guys, the angle addition postulate, okay? So this one says uh, if M is between X and Y, okay, that would be the segment addition postulate. If M is between X and Y, so say there's M right there, and there's X right there, and there's Y right there, then this is saying that this little piece right here plus this little piece equals the entire piece. So this one is called segment addition postulate. Okay, so that's what you're going to use that on this one. If N is between M and P, and the whole MP equals 9x plus 6, and MN equals 4x, and NP equals 16 right there, then you just set up um, uh, the two small pieces are going to be the big piece. So 4x plus 16 equals the entire piece, 9x plus 6. Okay, you get x equals 2. Typically, these aren't x answers. You've got to plug in x into one of them, and they want to find MN, so you're going to plug in 2 right there, so 4 times 2 is 8. All right, so this one's, let's go ahead and do segments and postulates. Here we go. Postulates are statements that are assumed to be true without proof, you guys. We'll be doing lots of proofs later on, you guys. You get to where, um, uh, I'll, we'll discuss proofs later. A lot of kids don't like them, you guys. And if you can just trust me, we'll baby step you through them. And, and just give me the open window that you'll try. I can get you through proofs, you guys. A lot of kids, they say, I can't do proofs. And as soon as they put that wall up, I, I can't help them. They just shut me out. So so if you can just you know help me go baby step through and we'll get through the proofs. But that's not until a little bit later, you guys. Okay, through any two points. Okay, there's two points right there. There to is there's exactly one line, and it's right there. Okay, that's one first postulate. Second one is if uh, two lines intersect, there's two intersecting lines, then their intersection is a point. There it is right there. Okay, three non-collinear points. You see those three non-collinear points? Determines a plane. So there would be the plane, and this would be called plane P. Notice P does not have a point next to it, so it's, it's telling you it's plane P. You can call this plane P, or you can call it plane ABC by non-collinear points or by uh, the letters over in the corner right there. All right, so two planes intersect in a line. So let me show you. So there's a part of a plane. There's a line. There's another plane. Can you see those two planes intersecting in that red line right there? Okay, just think of like uh, two, two walls where they intersect in that little corner, and think of the walls going on infinitely, you guys. Like, like this wall right here and this wall right here, they kind of, they're planes that go on forever and ever and ever, but their intersection is always a line right there. Okay, this is plane B, plane J, line L. Alrighty, so uh, let's see what else. So if two points lie in a plane, see there's two points lying in a plane, uh, then the line that contains them also lies in that plane. So that line that contains those two points is also in plane P. All right, state the postulate that illustrates each diagram. Okay, so there's two points. So if those two points, then that line goes through those two points. And so you can say through any two points, there's exactly one line or something to that effect. Okay, how about this? Okay, if that figure, then that figure right there. Okay, that's one of the postulates we just came up with. If two points lie in a plane, then the line that contains them also lies in the plane. All right, how about this one? Sketch a ray FH perpendicular to segment EG at its midpoint M. Okay, the midpoint is only for segments, so the midpoint has to be for this, because rays go on forever and ever and ever, so there can't be a midpoint to a ray because it goes on forever. I can only have a midpoint on this segment. So let's go ahead and draw segment EG and the midpoint right there. All right, now ray FH is going to go through that guy, and it's going to be perpendicular right there. So there it is right there, okay, perpendicular. All right, FH goes through that. Okay, notice I have the point on F, and the arrow goes through H, and the arrow continues going, so that says ray FH right there. All right, so this is example four on page 98 in our textbook. So which of the following statements cannot be assumed from the diagram? Okay, let's take a look at this. Looks like I have plane S, plane T. I have some points and stuff. I have a right angle right here. So this right angle tells me, okay, plane A, B, and F are collinear. 
A, B, and F, yep, they lie on the same line, so that one's true. How about E, B, and D are collinear? E, B, and D, they look like they might be, but there's no line going through them. I cannot assume it is, so I'm going to say that one is probably not true. I can't, say, I can't assume that. Okay, segment A, B is perpendicular to plane S. Here's segment A, B. Perpendicular, yep, there's a right angle right there. That looks good. Segment CD, perpendicular to plane D. Okay, here's segment CD, perpendicular to plane T. I don't see a right angle, so that one doesn't look good. Okay, line AF, intersecting line BC. Here's AF, intersecting line uh, BC. Uh, BC is over here. Uh, that one doesn't look true either. So AF and BC... Uh, don't even look like they intersect. They would be called skew lines. All right, so uh, there we go. Okay, and I'm done with this lesson.